I am Mark Tross. This is King Day. We are in the New Covenant, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16, which says, Do you not discern and understand that you, the whole church at Corinth, are God's temple, his sanctuary, and that God's Spirit has his permanent dwelling in you, to be at home in you collectively as a church and also individually? Also in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 9 through 20, we read, Do you not know that the unrighteous and the wrongdoers will not inherit or have any share in the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, misled, neither the impure and immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor those who participate in homosexuality, nor cheats, swindlers and thieves, nor greedy graspers, nor drunkards, nor foul-mouthed revilers and slanderers, nor extortioners and robbers will inherit or have any share in the kingdom of God. And such some of you were once, but you were washed clean, purified by a complete atonement for sin, and made free from the guilt of sin. And you were consecrated, set apart, hallowed, and you were justified, pronounced righteous by trusting in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and in the Holy Spirit of our God. Everything is permissible, allowable, and lawful for me, but not all things are helpful, good for me to do, expedient and profitable when considered with other things. Everything is lawful for me, but I will not become the slave of anything or be brought under its power. Food is intended for the stomach and the stomach for food. But God will finally end the functions of both and bring them to nothing. The body is not intended for sexual immorality, but is intended for the Lord. And the Lord is intended for the body to save, sanctify, and raise it again. And God both raised the Lord to life and will also raise up us up by his power. Do you not see and know that your bodies are members, bodily parts of Christ, the Messiah? Am I therefore to take the parts of Christ and make them parts of a prostitute? Never, never. Or do you not know and realize that when a man joins himself to a prostitute, he becomes one body with her? The two, it is written, shall become one flesh. Genesis chapter 2 verse 24. But the person who is united to the Lord becomes one spirit with him. Shun immorality and all sexual looseness. Flee from impurity in thought, word, or deed. Any other sin which a man commits is one outside the body. But he who commits sexual immorality sins against his own body. Do you not know that your body is the temple, the very sanctuary of the Holy Spirit who lives within you? whom you have received as a gift from God, you are not your own. You were bought with a price, purchased with a preciousness and paid for, made his own. So then honor God and bring glory to him in your body. He is the king. He is the one who rules and reigns upon in and through us as his people over all the earth from heaven. May his will be done on earth as it is in heaven, and no one understand that the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit.